the Secretary of Transportation, joins us via satellite from Harrisburg, and welcome. Thank you, Bill. Appreciate you having me. Well, well, let's start with what we're going to get for the money, and then, then we'll talk in a minute or so about how we're going to pay for it. But what, what are, are you going to be able to do next year uh, that you might not have been able to do had this bill not passed? Well, I think you touched on your intro, Bill. First of all, reliable transit service for Pittsburgh. Uh, if this bill had not passed, you would have seen cuts to transit service. So what we call the orphan lines, including the Acton Heritage Line, Pittsburgh would have terminated service. Uh, statewide, that would have amounted to about 50,000 riders a month being taken away, their service being taken away, which would have been devastating. The Port Authority itself, uh, we probably would have endured about a 30% cut in service, a revert to the old labor contract. Um, so from a transit standpoint, it's significant in terms of maintaining public transportation service in Pittsburgh and throughout the Commonwealth. Beyond that, on the highway and bridge side, it's going to enable us to start make a positive headway on our bridge problem. As you know, we have a very old bridge system, 25,000 bridges with an average age of 51 years, and we need to make a significant investment to stay ahead of that curve that's coming at us of aging bridges. So the residents are going to see improved safety by virtue of better paving on the roads, uh, intersection improvements, bridge improvements starting next year, and as this program builds, you'll see capacity relief. So it's a significant bill for the future of the economy and safety of Pennsylvanians. 